there. So a little bit of the top and bottom is cut off, just a little bit. But that should be good, because that's what I'm seeing right now. So at least there's that. At least you guys can see it. Can you hear it? There's like a weird amb ambient noise happening in my ear holes. That chick is adorable. That chick is so cute. Hi, Crested. Hello. If there is anyone I missed, please let me know. I'll say hi. Hi, zombies all. Hello, hello. Uh, you hear nothing, says Ernie. You guys hear no ambient? I hear it barely. Oh, well, if you hear it, then it, here, let me turn it up all the way. Do you hear that? I have a feeling it's going to deafen me once it starts. It's really, really soft. Yeah, sometimes it loops. You hear it? Okay. It's quite audible now. Okay. So, I'm going to leave it at this loud. And you may or may not be deafened. It depends how... You guys can hear that. <laughs> Maybe I should lower it a little bit. We're going to find out just how loud this game gets. That's what we're going to do. All right. YOLO! <laughs> uh, my ears are bleeding just imagining, right? So, for those that do not know, this is Recreatify's Game with Pick, and then later we'll be playing Vortex Gaming's Game with Pick, which is Tunnels of the... Tunnels of Despair. That's what I believe the title is. This is Tokyo Dark. It looks Really neat. It was on my wish list because of a sale that was going on with any Square Enix games. Um, it looked kind of cool. That's how I found out it existed. But um, I wasn't sure how much I'd like it. So we're going to find out right here, right now. Um, it's like visual novel, anime, horror, murder mystery game. That looks very interesting. It seems like we kind of... I don't know if we decide her personality, but it almost seems like we can kind of decide if she's creepy or not i don't know like it's very interesting so let the yeah this is totally something that i would watch as an anime so we'll see but yes thank you so much recreator five for being in the game was picked here and for picking this game thank you thank you and get by the way recreator five gifted it to me so thank you thank you as well because you totally didn't have to but thank you so much make her creepy as shit oh god We'll see. I was probably, I'll probably play how I would play, but also I have Starbucks. Not sponsored, but I wish. Give me Starbucks for the rest of my life. That'd be great. Okay, thanks. <laughs> she's so just, yeah, she's so detective looking. She's in clothing appropriate attire. I appreciate this. Also the gap in between your legs would not exist, but okay. <laughs> not when you have your legs crossed like that. But... Yeah. But yes. And I am playing blind. Uh, only when I ask for help will uh, to give me help. That'd be sweet. So that way nothing's ruined. But it, I, it, since it's point and click, I may or may not need that help more than often. I don't know. We'll find out. I also don't know if it's voice acted, so this will be interesting. That's legit, Demona. It's totally legit. Just in case you want to play it yourself, I totally understand. Oh, if there's trigger warnings, uh, uh, just warning anyone, there may or may not be a trigger warning. I didn't even think about that. Really be good with, uh, plugging Starbucks every 15 minutes while streaming. If it meant I got it for life, yes. <laughs> also, it wouldn't be every 15 minutes. You'd only have to, like, do it at the beginning of a stream or whatever, or when you announce something. So... But yes, I would be okay with that. <laughs> I'm a basic bitch. I'll take it. <laughs> um, but anyway, so let's get started. Tokyo Dark. New game. YOLO. Oh, English. Because I can't read Japanese. I mean, I could try. It's not going to end well. Hi, Draco Manser. Hello, hello. That depends on the sponsorship. That's true. 
Uh, consider your actions. The actions you make will change the world around you and how your story unfolds. Great. This is going to be great. Uh, autosave makes every decision final. There's no going back. Great. Great. Also, is this my loading? That's the creepiest. Reminds me of, uh, Dead Secret. Masks. Alright. Do this, YOLO. Sell out. For coffee, I am that loud. Oh. I'm gonna lower that for your ear holes. Oh, fuck. Okay, how's that? Is that still pretty loud? I, I, a Telltale, is that you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Seriously, though. Sell a cat even though I would too? Exactly. Okay. Yes. Just warning to anyone, it may or may not be, uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> hello, sound. Oh. <laughs> uh, yeah, creepy pictures. Nice start, yeah. Red liquid from my ears, yeah. Told you. It should be fine now. Sounds fine to you guys. Um, but, yeah. Interesting uh, advertisements here going on. Also, look at this walking animation. I like it. I like that I'm constantly moving, too. Wait, wait, look. How do I... Oh. When I close my eyes, she's always there. Smiling. Always smiling. That's one way to start out a game, I'll tell you that much. Also, I don't know what I just said in Japanese. Um. Ooh. I didn't even see that. From the grim fabric of the train seat, I recognize a familiar face. Pick up. Tanaka. What's your badge doing in a place like this? Where are you? Jesus, my ears! <laughs> That's loud. Oh my god. And I have no way to easily turn this down. She said, is this an illusion? Ooh, that's neat. I wish this had volume. It doesn't. Oh my god. Every picture is the same, yeah. Uh, Ito. Oh, this is super. Ito, what are you, or where are you? I've been trying to reach you for 20 minutes. I guess this means you've heard about this, his phone. Yeah, Saki told me. I'm on my way to Shinjuku, Shinjuku now. I couldn't wait for the uniforms and miss another chance. We've narrowed down the GPS signal to a back alley in the east part of town. You're the only detective I trust that's near it. That said, I'd be an idiot to not send in a team behind you. Lucky for us, it doesn't look like it's moved in the last 40 minutes. What's your ETA? I should be there in about 10 minutes. How long until your team arrives? At this rate, about 20 minutes behind you. Ito? I'm assuming it's Ito? We have no idea what you're walking into, so no heroics. Heroics. Of course I'm gonna be heroic. <laughs> I'm the protagonist. Find the phone. Discover what you can about how to get it there, and then report straight back to HQ. Understood? Yes, sir. I know this one's been especially tough for you. He's your partner, and I understand that you want to be the one who to bring him home. But, well, are you going to be okay by being back in the field? I know it's been a while since the uh, incident, so you can't blame me for being a little hesitant. Remember to keep your eye on your spin attributes from time to time by pressing the escape key. Immersion. I'm, ta I'm taking a big risk in trusting you with this, Ito. We can't have another repeat of Kamakura. I'm fine, sir. I have everything under control. I'll report in once I find the phone. Behind the pleasantries, it's plain as day that Yukimura still doesn't trust me to be on my own. The day Tanaka went missing, the uniforms completely ruined the crime scene. There's no way I'll let that happen again. Hold on, Tanaka. I'll be there soon. Escape key? Hard to read on a tablet. Oh no! Yes. Text is unreadable on your laptop screen too. Oh no! Well, good thing I'm reading it all. Five days ago, my partner, Detective 
Kazuki Tanaka vanished after leaving po Oh yeah, that is really small for you guys, isn't it? Uh, police HQ. There was no sign of him and we had no leads. From one of the most popula populous cities on Earth, he simply disappeared. That is, until an hour ago when his phone was mysteriously switched on. Is this still pretty loud for you guys? Because I can lower it. I also gotta lower it for me. This is deafening. Tracing it lead tracing it led me here, to this grimy road in the east side of Shinjuku. Nothing good ever happens in this part of town. Alright, I'm gonna lower it for myself, cause hot damn. Hot damn. I'm gonna go to like 15, cause holy shit. <laughs> uh Okay, cool. Sweet. At least it waits for me to read it, right? Escape key. Uh, I think you've been playing too much Fortnite, sir. <laughs> it's a little loud. Okay. I'm gonna lower it even more. I like it to stay, like, hovering there. So. I have it at negative 14. So let me know how that is for you guys. Is it still a little loud? Because I have a feeling this is probably not the loudest it's gonna get, but the music. The loudest the music's probably gonna get. So. This sounds good. Yeah, there's nothing I can do about the size of the text. Unless escape has something good. It's perfect, sounds good, it's good, sweet. Okay, I'll keep it at here, and we'll see how that goes. Um, wait, no, stay there. Okay, there's no settings, but my sanity, professionalism, investigation, neurosis. My neurosis is a little, wait, no, it's just that my investigation's a little high, sweet. Main menu, settings. Oh, hey. Well, too late. Uh, dialogue text. Hopefully that helps for you guys a little bit. That's kind of nice, actually. Thank you, game. Thank you, devs. Um, volume. Well, it's fine. I already messed with it. The rest should be fine. Did it change it on the... No, it doesn't. So we'll find out dialogue text. Okay. Cool. Sweet. All right, so now we'll see how good that is. All okay. right. A bit of volume for potential jump scares. Be interesting to see how Cat plays and will make her insane or neurotic. I hope not. What's pl Does, Is it showing me how to run? What is this? Okay. Enter. All right. I'm Detective Ito of the Tokyo Metrop Metropolitan Police. I'd like to ask you a few questions. Hmm. Could smell the cop on you the mo the minute you stepped through the door. Yeah, sure. Ask away. But make it quick. It usually starts getting busy around now. Um, there's one dude. Oh. Attitude towards police. Strange clientele. Tanaka. So is the writing a little better? Text is better? Sweet. All right. Oh, tweet live. I did. Oh, shit. I mean, I, I typed it out. I never sent it. Done. <laughs> thank you, Tweet Fair, for reminding me. Oh, my God. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You guys just have, uh, are on top of this. Hi, doodling girl, by the way. I don't think I ever said hi. You can see the writing now. Sweet. Well done. Still can't read it, but I'm not full screening it. Gotcha. Okay. So. Thank you, to be fair. Bartender with attitude. Yeah. So let's ask strange client to. Oh, it's like covering our eye. Anyway. Had any strange customers tonight? Seen anyone out of the ordinary? <laughs> I don't know how to do that noise. You for start, but no detective. It's business as usual. <laughs> These dots. Oh, did I? Investigation plus one. Listen, honey, as much as I'd love to keep shooting the breeze, if you want to keep talking, you can buy a drink like everyone else. Rude. The Sosa seems pretty cagey. She might open up after a drink, but then again, maybe not. I need to be careful here. 
Mm. Refuse. I don't drink while I'm working. Funny, I don't work without drinking. Sorry, detective, I can't help you. I got achievement sober. All right. So she won't talk anymore. Uh, well, let's try. Can't you see I'm busy? Rude. All right, fine. Evening, sir. Do you mind if I ask you a few questions? <laughs> He's creeping me out, guys. <laughs> It's the, it's the lips. It's freaking me out. <laughs> Ooh, what are you, and what are you supposed to be then? I think this one's with the police, honey. Detective Ito, Tokyo Metro Metropolitan Police. Police, huh? My name's Goto. How'd you know his name was Goto? Oh, maybe because it says, you know. He does look really weird, though. Hmm, is the gun real, too? Why don't you let me buy you a drink? Maybe you can show me your gun and I can show you mine. Her, her, her. Ew. 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 Aw, that's a hella cute picture. Charming. How about we stick to the questions? You seem like a regular. Have you seen this man tonight? Uh, I don't know. See the glasses, Detective Odo? My eyesight's not so good. The glasses are supposed to make it so you can't see, but what are you talking about? Why don't you come over here and sit on my knee and I can take a... You can take... So I can take a closer look. This guy's a fucking creep. I'll pass. Hmm, listen, I tried to help you, but if you don't want it, that's fine with me. <laughs> Ew! Stranger danger! Stranger danger! <laughs> it's accurate? Oh, okay, cool. I confuse. <laughs> they did succeed on making him disgusting. Or shoot him with, an, in, with his gun. Shoot him in his gun. I got you. I got you now. A. Oh my god. He is like that creepy side of online dating. <laughs> snorting 10 out of 10. <laughs> 10 out of 10 snorting. Okay, so. I'm gonna try and not drink. Also, blue butterflies! What is this? Life is strange and also until dawn? What is happening? Okay. Exit? Uh, I'm assuming that's where I- wait, which way did I go into? A shabby looking bar with a butterfly logo on the sign. Butterfly club. A hostess bar. Watered down booze exchanged for fake smiles and a girl to laugh at your jokes. On a normal night, there's no way I'd look for Tanaka here. Tonight's not exactly normal though. Deep. Alright, I got investigation plus one. Sweet. Uh, so which way did I go into? Okay, wait, go back. So, let's look look in this. In my opinion, the smaller a chicken skewer place is, the better. At least, that's what I used to tell Tanaka. Enter. Closed. Not like I have time for chicken tonight, anyway. So, okay. Um, I can't look. I can look here. The smaller bar, the small bar doesn't seem to have a lot of customers, but there's a good view of the street from the storefront. What's this? The back entrance to the shuttered, shuttered store. I can't get in. How about this one? Sounds like my kind of place. Aw, he cute. Uh, it's a little bit of until dawn. A little, yeah. Let out a ten voice acting. Thanks, guy. So smooth. Must be a ladies' man. Huh. Ugh. I like legit got a shiver from that thought. Ugh. Well done with the voice acting, thanks. You guys are so sweet. Thank y'all. <laughs> all right. Um, that's all I can do is talk to him. All right. I'm Detective Ito of the Tokyo Metrop Metropolitan Police uh, Department. <laughs> Would you mind if I asked you a few questions? No problem at all. You can call me Daizo if you want. I haven't er, done something wrong, have I? No, nothing like that. I was hoping you could help me, actually. Have you seen this man? Maybe sometime tonight? Hold on. Mind if I take another peek at the picture? Hmm, sorry. I don't think I've seen him after all. Are you positive? Yeah, I definitely remember. You see, to be honest, business hasn't been too, hasn't been so great. So I haven't seen much of anyone lately, and I definitely remember a guy like that. 
Mostly I just sit here alone, wiping down the counter over and over again. Can't say I thought this was what I'd be doing as the owner of a bar in Shinjuku, you know? Not to mention honest guys like me are being driven out of business around here. All the other places, like the hostess club up the street, are cutting corners. Ooh. Okay. The alley outside. Uh, I'm sorry to hear that, Daiso. I've got one more question for you, if that's okay. You have a pretty good view of the alley from here. Seen anything unusual here tonight? Out there tonight? Unusual? Now that you mention it, when I went out back before I thought I heard a ringing sound coming from inside one of the dumpsters. Just kept ringing and ringing. Speaking of rings, I had, a pawn, I had to pawn my wedding ring to pay this month's rent. If my wife heard about that, next thing in the dumpster might be me. <laughs> <laughs> Investigation plus five! Sweet. Alright. Silent shall fall. Silent shall consume all. Why? Uh, I'm gonna take some more. A. There's a wall that has a huge crack. Oh, in his, yeah. Alright, so... There's a dumpster... So I haven't even seen a dumpster, though, have I? I don't think so. Okay, no. Sweet. BRB legit. Uh, Yeah, the poor dude. Hi, Marks! Hello, hello! Welcome, welcome, welcome. Alright, look. It doesn't look like anyone's been home for a while, but I wonder who'd want to live on a street like this anyway. Also, does anyone know when I started? Uh, after all the technical difficulties? Probably 11.30. Okay. Just trying to time about what time I should end. Probably about 1 and then switch gears. So. Uh... Whatever was drawn on something... Whatever was drawn on, someone tried scrubbing it off, but gave up halfway. Alright. 27... Almost exactly. Hey. Okay, so I could probably go a little after one, maybe. Maybe, baby. Alright. We'll see what's going on. I can't go... Oh, okay, there we go. For such a grimy-looking door, that sure is a fancy lock. Without a code, there's no way I'm getting in. Okay. The small, old wooden emblem on the door is so worn, I can't make it out. Makes you wonder what kinds of stores used to be here before it was cannibalized by bars. Alright. So I can't do anything with the key, but I got nothing. Um. Dumpster. Look. What a stench. Well, pretty normal for a dumpster, I guess. It's locked up tight. Listen. No doubt about it, that's Tanaka's phone, alright. But who would have put it here? That's an industrial strength lock. No way I can force it open, but I bet someone in this building's got a key. So that's his phone? That's not good. Look. It's some sort of warehouse or build storage building. No clue what type of company it belongs to, but the dumpsters are definitely theirs. Uh, look in here first. Blood? No, only fresh red paint. Whole, whole thing reminds me of Kamakura and that girl. But there's no time to dwell on that. On the past tonight. I have work to do. Alright. So I can't do anything more with that. So I can just enter. 20 minutes ago? Sweet. I meant the game. I saw that face. Hi! <laughs> Alright. Thank you, Tibi Fire. Alright. It is very well done. Especially for grimy anime. I like it. Whoa, 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 lady. We're closed. What are you doing in here? Huh? Did you just see that girl? See what now? The lights were flickering, so I came over, but the only girl I see is you. You alright, lady? You're, like, really pale. Mm. Yeah, I'm fine. I just heard a siren. <laughs> um, so... So, um, this is, like private property, so if you don't go, I'm gonna have to go and, like, talk to the police. You're talking to the police. I need access to the dumpster outside this building. Oh, yeah? Right on, right on. Go for it. <laughs> That's... 
all the dots. He's warehouse worker Ka- Kobayashi. All right. The dumpster is locked. Oh, right, yeah. You'll need the key to get into it. I've got one, though, so no worries. Right, can I have the key? Which key? I've got, like, a lot of keys. <laughs> Give me the dumpster key! <laughs> That's the best. Oh, right, sorry. Yes, sir, um, ma'am, or detective, sir, here. So you didn't, like actually see anyone in there, right? Because I'm just part-time, so... Yeah, don't worry about that, kid. <laughs> right, detective, ma'am. I gotta do, like... I gotta go do, like, other duties, you know? Over there, away from the creepy corner. Laters. Oh, okay. <laughs> He's in that Mary Jane. Uh... How's the cat? Oh my god. He's like, chill, dude. Oh, she was far away and then flashed forward? Oh, I didn't notice that. I just saw the flash of her face because I was looking at chat. Ooh, that would have been creepy. Hi, Soothsayer. Hello, hello. The only thing he's hiding is drugs. Drugs? I don't, I can't investigate anything more. Damn it. All right, fine. I guess I'm exiting. Okay. Open dumpster. It's a head! That must be it. A filthy paper bag surrounded by a swarm of flies. The ringing is coming from inside. I'll need to fish it out of there and get a closer look. Mm, you're making me. As I draw near, the familiar metallic scent of blood drifts into my nostrils. Written on the bag are two characters I know very well. Ayami. What the hell is going on here? What's Ayami? What does that mean? What's in the bag? <laughs> mm. Embedded in the gruesome red mass is Tanaka's phone. As I slide the phone out, I'm overwhelmed by the smell of rotting meat and the buzzing of flies. Hello? Who is this? I don't know what voice to give this. Oh, you finally picked up! I knew you would eventually. It's been a long time, Ayami Chan. Watch, it's like a dude, a really burly dude. And I'm, or it's the killer. <laughs> I'm giving it the highest pitch voice. How do you know my name? Where's Tanaka? Where are you keeping him? Shh, Ayami Chan. Shh. Tanaka's right here with me in the sewer. Come down. There's something I want you to see. <laughs> That's totally what's happening. <laughs> I'm giving her the highest, the person, the highest pitch voice. What if it's me? What if it's like the dark side of me? I killed him. Plot twist. Also, I know nothing, so no spoilers. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't a head, unfortunately. I mean, fortunately. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if I would I mean, I guess she has gloves on, so answering the phone isn't that bad. Sewer drain. Blood? No, I already... Never mind. Scam likely! <laughs> Damn, the bars won't budge. The red paint is on both of the... Both the inside and outside of the drain. So someone around here must know how to get in. And has red paint. Um... Leave bloody bag for police. Uh, why? Enter. Hey, bitch. Either bitch. Doesn't matter which bitch. <laughs> Doesn't matter which bitch. Uh. Damn it. Okay, fine. Unfortunately, yeah, that's what I realized. <laughs> A Nigerian prince. He wants you to, your bank details so he can send you a small fortune. Exactly. That's always what it is. I really want to get into this keypad. All right. Um, let's talk to him again. Do you know anything about uh, red paint? Access to sewer. Sorry to bother you again, Daiso, but do you know anything about the storm drain at the end of the alley? 
No worries, detective. Now that you mention it, and you might not believe me, but I swear a fat guy in a suit climbing out of there f I saw- No, yeah! I swear a fat guy in a suit climbing out of there a few days ago along with some girl. He's kind of infamous around here. Probably at one of the hostess clubs as usual. Maybe the butterfly club? Hopefully he stays there. Anyway, that storm drains bad news if you ask me. Aw, oh, that dude! I'd steer clear of it. I don't- I don't have a choice, but okay. Alright. I wasn't ahead, unfortunately. I mean, fortunately. <laughs> sure, quote it. Uh, I like that one. Uh, walk away for the stream for five minutes and I hear <laughs> bitch. No, witch bitch. I was saying witch bitch. Oh, back entrance. Because I got jump scared by a girl in the distance, but I didn't really get jump scared because I wasn't looking. <laughs> but, um, and then a dude high as a kite came in. Oh, not that one. This one. Great. Will she talk? Can't you see I'm busy? Rude. Okay, fine. Talk to you. You got a problem or something? What do you want? I do have a problem with you. Um, but are you the guy that was in the suit that uh, climbed out of the drain with a girl? What the hell? Mama Chan, she's creeping me out. Um, you're creeping me out. Did he call her Mama Chan? Quit standing around. Wanna on my wanna on my lap? Her <laughs> hair. Ew. I already told you everything. No, you didn't. Soothsayer! Aww! Let's fill that love meter. Thank you so much. Guys, throw the love in chat. I want double love, thank you. Thank you so much. Hey. For those that do not know, for the, you know, the, the spreading the love goal, pretty much, so now that it's full, at the end of the stream, whatever goes over or is a part of this is going towards people that really helped me these last three months during my hardships. So people that really helped me get through it and stuff, this is all going to them and not to me, just so you guys know. Thank you so much, Soothsayer. Because then I can spread the love that everyone's been giving me. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you so much. Something happened! Yes! <laughs> thank you so much. Now I can spread that love too. Thank you. All oh, that love. Hey. My hand is freezing. Holy shit. My fingertips. Oh, those chicks. <laughs> That's the noise they should make. Thank you. Hey. Ugh. I'm gonna cover my arm because it's cold. So I can't get them to talk to me. And it's clearly him. For a detective, you're not very smart. I told you to go away. The hell's wrong with you? Oh, okay. Now he's looping. Damn it. Uh, so saw love first. That's legit. Totally legit. Do society a favor and kill that creep. But I need to know what he was doing in there or how he got in there. Well. I lurk while eating dinner all the time. You're totally fine. Do I go this way? I can't. Hmm. I have a lot of investigation. I have negative six to sanity. Why? Oh, probably the jump scare. I have professionalism, guys. I thought it... It is. Oh, it's the graffiti, right? Yeah. Okay. You know? Keypad. Should I leave the bloody bag? Where's the dude in the creepy corner? Buddy? That is the loading. Great. Bitch. Uh, I guess I'll leave the bloody bag. 
Once Yuki Mura's backup sees this, the forensics team won't be far behind. I'll be sure they don't miss it so they can analyze it properly. Professionalism 1, Investigation 1. Good, the bag is still there. Not like anyone is going to be stealing something that as gruesome as that. Alright, so... Neurosis negative 1, no! <laughs> Damn it! Alright. Mm, let's talk to him a little more. Girl with the red hair. Sorry, this is a little strange, but you haven't seen a girl with red hair lately, right? Red hair? Not exact. Not lately. Guess that doesn't help, though, huh? No, it's all right. Honestly, it's kind of a relief. What about anyone else with out of the ordinary? You were listening when I said I saw a guy crawl out of the storm drain, right? At least when business is in the dumps, I don't have to deal with people like that. All right, butterfly. Can I? Not? Rude. I can only like say one thing, so I have to like actually decide which one I want to say. <sighs> okay, let's try and talk to him one more time. Wait, no, no, no. Great. Oh, I can't ask him about the sewer now. Oh, either one of them. Hi, Owen. Hello, hello. So, excuse me. I've got a witness who says someone fitting your description has entered the storm drain at the end of the street before. Any chance that was you? I don't know what you're talking about, lady. Rude. Threaten. What about you? Just tell me one thing. What do you know about the storm drain leading to the sewer at the end of the street? Huh? Sewer? What kind of question is that? I don't know anything about some dirty sewer. Rude. Beg for information? I'm okay with threatening him. Don't play dumb with me. I know you've been in that sewer. Tell me how you get in. Now. Yes! Bitch! That's for telling me to sit on your lap. The hell you think you are? I don't care what some asshole said about me, lady. I know you take women in there. And if you want to leave this bar with the necessary parts to be with one again, I suggest you start talking. I, uh, sorry about the misunderstanding. There's a shrine in that sewer. I go down there to, uh, do stuff. I don't remember asking you what you do down there. I asked how you get down there. Now start talking. All right, all right, just leave me alone. There's a trick to opening the grate. Twist the leftmost bar to the left and the one next to it to the left and they come off. When, then you crawl inside. There, you happy now? Now just leave me alone. Negative five to professionalism, but plus five to investigation. Oh, I don't fucking care. He deserves it. I don't need to be professional with him. Fuck him. <laughs> Not little. No. Hmm. Uh-uh. Oh, why aren't you running? There we go. Rude. There we go. Uh, enter. Do I have to do it? Or do you just do it? Hey, she just does it. Sweet. Lights. Someone has strung up some cheap lights haphazardly along the ceiling. Maybe in a vain attempt at creating an intimate atmosphere. But I'm assuming that nasty photo. That's something I can't unsee. Ugh, seeing that probably took a few years off my life. The photo is in good shape, and I guess it was probably taken recently. <laughs> something I'll never unsee. <laughs> Uh, oh god, my eyes. I don't need to be professional with him. Fuck him. No. Um. Uh. The only thing is, is all the dot dot dots and stuff. It doesn't read as well in type form. It's a great clip. That would be a great clip. I could have lived without seeing that. I need to That was funny. Uh, I mean, like, people are into that stuff. It's just I didn't need to see him in that situation. That's his personal life. I did not need to see that. There's blood! Spooky blood. 
That's Lissy's term, not mine. Oh wait, uh, Shrine Gate. I wonder what the Shrine Gate's doing down here after all this time. Maybe the boulders, builders, maybe the builders were too superstitious to destroy it when the sewers built. Wouldn't blame them. A thin, freshly painted line of red runs slowly down the wall towards the well. Great. It's a gamble. It's gamble? I think you're missing a word there. It's gamble, but I could try getting down there barehanded. Gotta think there's something around here I could use and climb down more safely, though. Climb down! No. But the same fresh paint used on the wall and the drain outside. Whoever painted it must be close. You're going to play this, Demonas? A. Hey. Although you could make your character way more crazy than mine and you'll have a completely different outcome, supposedly. Rope on salary man. I didn't need to see the picture again, though. If he's down here, often there's a possibility he has some rope on him tonight. I should take this photo to remind him. <laughs> see this uh, photo? Do you want it back? Um, give me some rope. Give me the rope you tie yourself with. <laughs> uh, if you think seeing it was this bad this is my second time seeing it now third <laughs> hi Shanian. hello by the way and if I missed anyone let me know I'll say hi play multiple times to see what is different that's legit that's totes legit so I totally understand if you want to avoid it okay so I'm going to go talk to him I guess and remind him uh yeah, it's kind of a private thing. I mean, BDSM and bondage and stuff isn't gross or disgusting. It's your own thing. I just didn't need to see him in it. All right. All right, rope. I have reason to believe you might be carrying a rope on you. I need it. Ah, you again? I thought you'd said you'd leave me alone already. Anyway, I don't know anything about some rope or whatever. I don't have time for this. What, why was there? I, that kind of thing isn't legal. Illegal. Her her. Well, in your case, it definitely should be. No, it's not. Breaking into a sewer to do it, however, is. And this picture is pretty strong evidence to put you at the scene, don't you think? Hey, hey now, say, why, why don't I trade you? I'll give you that rope and you can give me that picture. I was just about to suggest something similar, except I keep the rope and the picture, and in exchange, you get to stay out of jail tonight. Fine, fine, just take it. I don't want the picture. Give him back the picture. I guess it's still, you know, so he'll give us stuff, but... You know what? I'm starting to think you might not be my type. Yeah, I'm not. A negative... I am so unprofessional, guys. I'm not that unprofessional. Maybe because I was uh, so professional earlier. Hi, Kaylid! My day was good. Oh, I didn't get to t finish telling you guys. Uh, so I slept through my alarm. So that happened. I was supposed to wake up at 8. I woke up at 9 to Baron licking my face. Thank God for once that he woke me up because <laughs> I would have... I don't know how long I was slept. Went to go take a shower and during that time, uh, River was calling me repeatedly and I didn't know it um, to pick him up from the mechanic because we didn't know if he needed to be picked up or not. So then I had to go pick him up and I hadn't had breakfast yet and then came back and all the OBS issues. So, hey. But actually it's a good morning. It's just one thing right after the other. I'm wondering who it is that tied him up. Well, clearly he gets the ladies. He had a redhead go in with him. Don't drink the bleach. Don't do that. I do not think bondage rope makes good climbing gear. Yeah, that's a good point. But yeah, BDSM isn't gross. It's your own thing. I just don't need to see him in that situation. He's gross. Him personally, his personality is nasty. He an asshole. That is that was a good point about the clip. Yeah. Hey, thank you. Thank you for the clip. Hey. So Yeah. Let's enter. Let's use this rope. Which, yeah, good point. It's probably not strong enough, but I guess it's better than bare hands. So. Uh, use rope to climb down. The rope is thin, and I know it's been used, but it's all I've got. Here goes nothing. Yeah, it would be pretty thin. Yeah, you don't use, like, legit rope to do that stuff. 
That would just, ow. Scratchy. Long loading. There we go. Is this supposed to be like re uh, re rebar rebarb rebarb, whatever. You know what I'm saying. <laughs> uh, don't tell me I'm gonna have to run. This. Why are you creepy, girl? So the voice I gave her was appropriate. At long last, I found Kazuki. His hands were bound and his head was covered by a dirty bloodstained sack. You don't know it's him then. I'd gone in all business, ready to handle the situation quickly, get everyone home safe, and go back to normal life. My plans went out the window the moment I made out his captor's face. It was a face I knew very well. Six months ago, Kamakura, Kazu Kazuki, and I encountered her in a hostage situation gone wrong. She died. The cold eyes and unhinged smile that stared at me from the shadows at the end of the tunnel belonged to a girl six months dead. I stood frozen to the spot, unable to speak as I faced down the impossible. It must be a trick. That's what my subconscious whispered to me over and over to drown out the sound of my beating heart. The girl wasn't surprised to see me. In fact, it seemed that my shock and surprise was what she had wanted to see all along. The fact remained that I was alone. I hadn't told Yakimura where I was, and Tanaka's life was in her hands. It was me and her, a lone detective and a girl straight from a nightmare. Uh, timed? Speak to him. Tanaka, hang in there. I'll get you out of this. Uh, oh no, he's gonna die. Ito, is that you? Get out, run! She's not what you- Shh. Don't waste time talking to her. You won't even speak to me? Not even a hello or a long time no see, Ayami, uh, Ayami chan? No, you talk to him like I'm not even here. Ayami, I'm sorry. Please save yourself. Quiet! I mean, please be quiet, Tanaki. Tanaka? I was also talking. There, there. Shh. It'll all be over soon, and then we'll be together in the dark. So don't even think about her anymore. Why do you look like her? What is this? Look like who? I've looked like this for a long time. What you looking for, Ayami-chan? The bullet in my head? I, I won't fall for that. Anyone could have read about that case. Ayami, don't talk to her. Run! For both our sakes. Why? Why are you talking to her? Why are you taking her side all of a sudden? You said you'd help me. Stop talking to her. I'm not going anywhere. We can both... We can both help you. No one needs to get hurt. <laughs> you mean like the last time? In Kamakura? No, Ayami-chan. No more talking. You're going to sit there like a good girl and listen until we're done. Ayami, forget what you've seen here and go. Save yourself. See? Tanaki is so, Tanaka is so caring. Even about a bitch like you. That's why he promised to help me. So we don't need you. Shh. Can you hear that? The voices, they're back. You remember the little whispers, don't you? I knew it! I knew it would happen! Now I can take Tanaka with me and he'll help me find the door! The door! <laughs> it's like when I was little. There were police back then, too. <laughs> don't you see, Ayami-chan? It's exactly like the last time. It'll work! Tanaka will be with me now. Fuck. Everything will be different this time. This time it will let me go. I won't let you take him from me. He promised to help me. And now you can't get in the way. Great. For the greater good. <laughs> Faced with the impossible, my mind raced in every direction to come up with a logical explanation. The clothes, the hair, the mannerisms were all the same. But I still didn't believe. It was when she mentioned the voices that my defense began to wear down. There was no way she could have known about that. I left it out of my reports and Kazuki... And I didn't talk about it. I began to accept that the girl I faced really was the same girl, and into my nostrils the scent of cherry blossoms began to intermingle with the st stink of sewage. I tried to focus on Kazuki and keep him talking, but the girl wouldn't let him. He sounded strange under the hood, like he was hurt. 
I knew he didn't have much time. I didn't have much time. Ask about Kumakura. Oh my god. Harley Quinn goth Lolita. I mean, that's kind of what she looks like, though. Oh my god. Okay, wait. Her voice kind of kills my voice. Hold on. Well. That's that. Hold on. <laughs> She's rather cute in a crazy sort of way. <laughs> in a little bit of a crazy sort of way. It's fine. Oh my god. Unless you're doing bondage with suspension. Yeah, that's true. But it didn't look like that's what he was doing. Oh my god. Let's do it. How are you here? In Kamakura, I... I... Murdered me? No. It wasn't like that. I was trying to... to... Ayami, there's nothing you can do. I know it's confusing, but you have to run. It's your only chance to get out of this. Oh, you! Be a good little boy and hush now. You know, it almost sounds like you feel bad about it. Almost. All I want in Kamakura- All I wanted in Kamakura was the mask, but you were hiding it from me. I began searching for it for so long, Ayami-chan. So many different shrines. Then Tanaka showed up. He didn't look like me. What? He didn't look at me like I was some sort of rabid little animal. Not like the others. No, no, no. Not my Tanaka. He wanted to help me. Really help me. And I almost believed he would before before you showed up. Well, we all know what happened after that, don't we? Poof, I woke up in dark again. <laughs> I still can feel it. I hurt. It hurt me, Ayami. It hurt so bad. I was this close to changing everything, but you took it away from me. I wondered why someone so nice as Tanaka would be with someone so horrible like you. So I went after him instead. He even gave me the mask. What, you don't believe me? He doesn't care about you, remember? He wants to help me. But the mask wouldn't wake up. Not like it did in Kamakura. It, wouldn't, it won't work if it's not awake. Oh, but Ayami, it worked. Everyone always called me stupid, but look at me now. <laughs> I'm looking at you. Tanaka and I will be together, and I'll finally find the door. But first, I'll have to send him there. I'm sorry, Tanaka. It's the only way you can help me. I want you to help me, please. You promised. And you, Ayami-chan, you can watch. Great. Uh... <sighs> the Harley Quinn in Japanese version. Yeah, exactly. Oh my god. She like legit- Yeah, I'm taking care of my voice, to be fair. It's just like, it's- She takes a lot of my breath away, surprisingly. She is someone I wouldn't want to meet ever, exactly. <laughs> Headquarters. Oh, hi high quality. <laughs> uh, or Harley Quinn. Oh, there's like three- <laughs> I said headquarters. It's fine. I usually do, but I don't want to type her name three times in a row. That's legit. Totally legit. <laughs> Put in. Even though none of it made sense at the time, the girl truly believed every word she said. When she talked about Kazuki, her eyes lit up as if she really believed he was her savior. The situation was deteriorating, and her grip on the knife hadn't loosened one bit. I had to keep her talking. Uh, keep her talking. Why are you doing this? What's the dark? Backup's coming. What's the dark? What is the dark? What are you talking about? We don't need to talk about that. After Kamakura, I was there. Every time before that, it's always the same. Deep, deep down, the dark, the dark, the dark is always breathing. Can't you hear it? It's here now, very close. It won't leave me alone. It follows me all the time. Ever since I was little? At least with the mask, it's quieter. Uh, I told you I didn't want to talk about it. I don't want to be alone down here anymore. I don't want let it... I won't let it keep me there. I won't, I won't, I won't! I won't... I want to sleep. I'm so tired. But the dark... It's in my dreams. It's there every time I wake up. That's called sleep. No. <laughs> He'll help me sleep. He'll help me once he can see... Won't you, Tanaka? Uh, let me help you. I don't know how you're here, but you're not beyond saving. 
You want to help, right? You want to help. Alright, I get that. So let me help you. Shut up! Shut up! Sorry, that was deafening for me too. <laughs> you don't care about me! No one cares about me! My whole life people told me they want to help me. They want to love me. It's all been a lie! It's not a lie. You're sick. And if you let people help you... No! Be quiet! Tanaka said that before, didn't he? Back then, he said it wasn't real. That he could make it better. He was wrong! I'm not sick. That's... Look around you, Ayami-chan. Look at me! You see me, don't you? You still think I'm sick? Shit. Uh, why are you doing this? Why are you doing this? Why? I told you why. You really are stupid, aren't you, Ayami-chan? Every day is the same. Is the same. Is the same. But now I've got Tanaka here with me. It's like a new adventure. The dark will behave with him. The dark will behave with him and the mask in it. And then we can start looking for the door. And then we can find it. Everyone will. Oh, but stupid, selfish Ayami-chan. You want to know why I brought you here, huh? You're, you're just, you're just here to wake it up. You think you're done? You think you're the hero? Gonna save the day? Wrong. I'll prove it. Stand right there. I'll show you right where, right what Tanaka thinks of you. Show you right what? That's not right. Kazuki never called for help. Never protested. It was like he knew it was going to happen from the beginning. Casually, like she'd done it hundreds of times before, she slid the knife across his throat. Well, my sanity lowered six months earlier. I tried. Well, oh, I didn't see the biddies. Thank you for the biddies. All the love and chat, guys. I was wondering why there was so much love and chat all of a sudden. <laughs> Thank you so much for the biddies. She just wants your love. Thank you so much. I didn't hear it. I was too in the moment, I guess. Well, this is why. Oh, my God. Also, thank you for the follow, Glitch Hunter. And is it Choopy Gamer Girl? Thank you so much. Hey. Oh, my God. I hate it when that happens. My kitty better not die. I swear to God. Mm -mm. So I guess we're going back in time. Uh, my sanity's still low. My investigation's fantastic, though. Great. I can talk to the kitty. Good morning, Lady Fluffington. How are you today? Yeah. Happy. <laughs> Aw, I'm glad you're so happy. I guess Kazuki already left, huh? Yeah. You didn't drive him out, did you? No bitey scratchy? Yeah. <laughs> well, that settles that, I guess. You've been good with him lately, haven't you? Yeah. If only Yuki Mura shared your enthusiasm. Something tells me he'll get over it, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's totally how a cat talks. Do you have to play right now? Nya, nya, nya! <laughs> all right, all right. Where'd you hide this your toy this time? Oh my god, so cute. Your ears? Why? Loves trick questions. Oh no. <sighs> That's annoying. I'm sorry, we greater five. What, what was not again? What happened? What did I do? Is there anything I can change? Look at laptop. I want to play. I want to play with the kitty. Oh, I can't even mess with the kitty anymore. Okay. Your laptop. Oh, my kitty screech? I'm sorry. Wee, wee, wee. Uh... An elderly man was attacked and seriously injured while emerging from a shrine in Kon Kanda, Tokyo Prefecture, last, late last night. The man, Takada Sayo, uh, 74, sustained injuries to his head and abdomen, including several lacerations, and was admitted, 
to a nearby hospital where he remains in stable but critical condition. According to police, eyewitnesses report reported hearing a struggle around 11.45 p.m. and shouting from a young sounding voice. Then asked if any witnesses had seen the suspect. Police said that the assailant may have been a high school aged girl. Local high schools have been asked by police for any students fitting witnesses' descriptions, but so far they have no leads. Citizens in the area are beginning to grow anxious and have called for increased police presence around shrines and temples, especially around the time students might be coming and going from school and late at night. Local police stress to the public to remain calm, citing that this is an isolated incident and that they are pursuing all leads. Some residents in the area, however, are not impressed with the police response. Local resident Suzuki Kawana, 71, points to a swath of random red paint marks on the shrine gate and cites a very popular theory in the area that there is a youth rebellion against Japanese traditional values. Police refused to comment when this was brought up in recent re, uh, brought up in recent press conference. Am I not reading it? Authorities speculate that this attack may be a potential may be potentially linked to a series of crimes surrounding shrines and temples in the area, but that this is the first time any violent action has occurred. The first incident occurred two months ago and resulted in the main hall of the sh local shrine suffering fire damage but no injuries. Another incident was reported several weeks later where a local resident noticed several dead cats in front of the shrine's gate. Police are hesitant to leak the crimes because of a lack of specific pattern. Hmm, what's this? Kazuki must have been looking at it before he left. A shrine, red paint. It all is the patterns of the case he's been working he's been working on the last few months. Yukimura's been giving him hell, saying such a minor case is a waste of precious police resources, but bullheaded as always, he won't give it up. I can't say I'd get it e I get it either, honestly. Chasing after some weird kids and vandals isn't his style. It's weird. He's been kind of obsessive about this case, but when I asked him for details, he shrugs it off. Shrugs me off. Maybe I'll ask him about it when he comes back. Where is he anyway? It's a bit exhausting being with someone who's on their own schedule all the time. At least he bought coffee before he left. Otherwise, he'd be in a world of hurt. Damn. Uh. Nya, nya, nya. It's so cute, though. Hey, this game is creeping me out. I love it, right? I'm always like, why do people name their cats stupid names like Lady Fluffington and Sir Meowington? But then I remember that my future cat's name is going to be Dongle, Sir Dongle. That's amazing. My friend's cat is, oh my god, uh, Feline de Meow. Uh, my cat's Baron Von Gigigan, however you pronounce that from The Cat Returns. <laughs> but I always just put Baron. Hi, Lucarian. Hello, hello. Mm, snack. I used to have a dog named Bits, mostly so I could yell, Come here, Bits! In public. There you go. <laughs> Always the red paint. Hmm. So you get Bits all the time, exactly. Gotta go get food, legit. Um. Yeah. Yes. That, what To Be Fair said. Uh... All right, let's go to the bedroom then. You're cute. Go to the bedroom. <gasps> it's a lucky cat. Okay, that's the living room. What is this, the room? Pick up cat toy. It's a lucky cat. Maneki... Maneki Nico is Lady Fluffington's favorite toy and has suffered for months of her batting it around. Doesn't look like it, but if I see any while if I see any while I'm out, I should pick up a new one. Who knows? They might even bring us good luck. If anything happens to Lady Fluffington, I swear to God. Play with Maneki Nico. For the life of me, I can't figure out why you love this thing so much. Nya, nya, nya. Well, whatever the reason, I'm glad it makes you so happy, little one. Yeah. Aw, neurosis. My sanity raised, though. 
I'm scared. Don't you hurt my cat. Hello. Oh, hello, neighbor. Oh, hi, Humi. Do you uh, want to come in? Nope. I'm on my way out, but I wanted to drop this off first. Um, it certainly has a distinct odor. Ancient family recipe. Cr creamy curry donuts. Coconut honey curry powder. But the secret is the five hot chilies that are hidden in the batter. They have quite a kick. These bad boys will clean your so soul with fire inside and out. Oh my god, her shirt, Miss Donut. <laughs> Wait, how are the chilies hidden in the batter? Yumi, I'm not so sure. <laughs> no need to thank me. Your body will thank me after you eat them. But anyways, how have you been? All I see lately is the convenience store box lunches and junk food. You need to take care of yourself. I'd be happy to cook for you two if you want. You're welcome around any time. How about tonight? Or maybe after you're working sometime? Tonight might be a bit tricky, and our shifts can run a little late. Unless you're happy with us dropping in around 2 a.m. Hmm, you make a good point there, neighbor. It's bad enough with you, with you clomping around at night. I am right beneath you, you know. Sorry, Yumi. You can blame the clomping on Kazuki. I'm light as a feather. Don't be sorry. It's the price of living below someone so interesting. Then again, there was that one time you started singing at 4 a.m. You were shouting something about the night not being able to end until you sang some idol song. What was that again? <laughs> That's okay. You can forget about that if you like. To be honest, I liked it. It was reassuring to hear you loosen up. Plus, I like to think it gives me a window into Detective Ito's real side. You know what I mean? My real side, huh? Well, I do like karaoke. Then we should go sometime. I can sing the en English, too. I'm a pro. My girlfriends thought I was half. I'm quite talented, you see. Damn, that's my work phone. Oh, okay. I should get going. Anyway. But, I should get going anyway. But Ayami... Hmm? Don't forget my offer, okay? Come over sometime. I will. Sorry, Yumi. I've got to take this. Hi. Ito here. Kazuki, is that you? Yeah, it's me. Thanks for picking up. I don't know who else to call. I was wondering where you'd wander off to. Why are you calling me on this phone? You're not on the clock, are you? Sorry, I couldn't leave this one alone. I think I made a big break. In what? The mystery of the broken coffee maker? <laughs> nope. Unfortunately, that case will likely remain unsolved. The shrine case I've been working on, I think I found a pattern. All of the shrines are attached to people whose names are said in, are said Kawana. There's so many ways to write Kawana in Japanese or in Chinese characters that we didn't see the connection. It's like our suspect has been going up and down Tokyo going to shrines one by one looking for someone. That would explain how the pattern seems so random. Doesn't explain the weird markings on the random violence though. No, but it's a start. I had I had a bit of snoop. I had a bit of a snoop through records, but I think she'll be in Kamakura next. I'm headed there now. I can be there in a little over an hour. What do you need me to do? Thanks, Ayami. I knew I could count on you. I don't trust anyone else. I'm just about to arrive, so I'll, I'll get started on the legwork, interviewing people in the area and seeing what they know. Meanwhile, once you get... Once you get here, I'll need more official stuff. Surveillance footage, public records, and the like. Not much to go on, but together we should find something. So I get the boring stuff? Serves me right to be showing up late, huh? <laughs> I'll get you a drink after. Promise. Ayami, keep an eye out for red paint. It's been at all the other crime scenes. I'll see you soon. And be careful. If I'm right, this person might be dangerous. No shit. Uh eh. Time to kill a chocolate bunny. That's that's savage. Yes. About an hour ago is when we started. Uh, and we'll be playing for a little bit more and then we'll switch over to the other game was picked by Vortex Gaming, which was Tunnels of Despair. So which might be more on the horror, like general horror aspect. So uh you killed a cactus by underwatering it. Damn, Shannon. Oh no. I didn't know that cactuses. I mean, I guess they could be underwatered. Damn. In retrospect, the way Kazuki sounded on the phone that day was off. 
Under his normal enthusiasm was a hesitation, a little shake in his voice that told me something was wrong. At the time, I chalked it up to overwork. After all, he hadn't, he hadn't been sleeping much in the weeks prior. If only I'd known and hadn't put up a wall of normality to hide it away from, to hide away from it. Instead of explaining away his obsession with the case and ignoring him as he tossed and turned, I should have talked to him. In all fairness, I wasn't the only one trying to ignore reality. Kazuki was a fierce investigator. Once he grabbed a hold of something, he followed it no matter how dangerous it was. He kept me in the dark as long as he could. But in the end, it didn't even matter. No, he needed me. But when, So when he called me, he tried his best to laugh and joke to throw off threw me off his scent. It worked. It worked because I let it. That's sad. So she kind of blames herself for everything that happened? I have no idea what you just said. <clears throat> hmm. Oh wait, no! Go back! I didn't investigate. Hold on, wait. I guess I can ask him. Ask about station security. Welcome to Kamakura. I was actually looking for some information. Information? Well, you've come to the right guy. Name's Magira. Did you know that I'm not, I'm no mere station attendant, but a volunteer tour guide on my days off as well? A jack of all trades. I can see from your blank expression that you don't believe me, but I'm the best there ever was. Like no one ever was. I'm not even, I'm not even from around here and I could still tell you everything there is to know about this place. Guidebooks, maps, the internet, pa! All silly toys for amateurs. I've got it all up here. Right, that's, um, great. Magira? Is that Japanese? Uh, anyway, what kind of security do you have at this station? Are there any cameras set up here or around town? Eh, cameras, you say? I guess I should explain. I'm a detective with the Tokyo Metropolitan Police. Ah, I see. I'm really less of a current events kind of guy and more of a people and date sort. Some, pe some call me the master of time and identity. If I had a, if I had harnessed my incredible knowledge and ability to examine minute, minutia of events, I could have become a great detective myself. Yeah, I'm sure that's true. Well, okay, maybe this one's a bit more up your alley. Can you tell me about the shrines around here? Maybe someone's off the beaten path. Oh, I know. Just head down this street. There's an old shrine and, and yes, the shrine is um old and uh, nice. Go on. Okay, okay, so dates aren't really my thing. But it wasn't fair. You caught me unawares with that one. I really am quite knowledgeable. Yep, I believe you. So where's the shrine? Easy, just up the road to the right. Or was it down to the left? Sorry, directions aren't really my thing. <clears throat> oh, I see. Well, what do you know then? Um, well, the locals say it has a weird aura to it. See? Bet you didn't know that. Yeah, I'll, uh have to look around myself. Thanks. Uh, hi, Bella Coco. Hello, hello. Uh, which, by the way, I don't know if I said hi to you earlier, but hello if I missed you. So, otherwise you get two hellos, and this is awkward. Uh, great guide. 10 out of 10. Oh my god, that clip. Thank you, to be fair. Deaf and everyone. Chalked it up to Overwatch. Yep. I mean, that could have been what he was doing this whole time. I can't do anything else in here. So, I guess exit. Why creepy noises? Why? Cherry blossoms? I love the cherry blossoms this time of year. Kazuki and I will have to arrange a picnic before they're gone. That will not happen. Red paint. Or blood. Probably blood. Red markings. Red paint? I guess Kazuki's hunch was right. But why this house? I'll leave it for now. Forensics may be able to make something out of this. And they don't. 
Hmm. There's a red handprint. Making sure there's nothing, because some things don't uh, show up until I get close enough. The divide between the sacred and us mortals. The shrine it belongs to must be up ahead. Girl, there's a burb! Where's Red the burb? Burb! He caught at me. Alright. This way? Oh, wait, wait, look. I can see something floating on the river that has more red markings on it. I need to carefully fish it out so I don't disturb it. Uh, shoot to break free. Maybe I could use one of the bamboo stalks to get whatever's floating in the river. No way I'll be able to break it with my bare hands, though. Alright, I guess that... I really shouldn't do this, but oh well. There's no one around, and it seems the fastest way for my to get myself some bamboo. Professionalism gone, insanity gone. Well, I got bamboo. Bamboom as the achievement of that pun, though. Using the broken bamboo, I can easily push the object out of the water without disturbing it. A train pass, and just like I thought, it has red paint on it. I should go to the station to see who this belongs to. Killed bamboo. Yeah, I did. What did I not play? Or what? Cherry blossoms remind me of Unravel. I have not played that, no. Um, a lot of people that I saw play it didn't finish it. I don't know if it's just because a lot of people weren't watching or what, but it looks so pretty. You bamboozled it. I know. Uh, uh, uh. Hi, Quay Horror. Quay Horror. Is it Quay or Q? Q Horror? Sanity reduced. Yeah, this is my... My, uh, my sanity is negative nine. Professionalism negative... Uh, it's negative seven. Negative nine professionalism. 53 investigation. And negative five neurosis. I'm, I'm doing great, guys. I'm doing so good. Sanity is so overrated. I don't know what sanity means in this game, but uh, it said that a lot of my stats affect how the game is played. I wonder if it's like eternal darkness. Hi, buddy. Can I ask about the train pass? Hi. What can the great Magira help you with? I found this computer pass by the stream. Could you tell me who it belongs to? Yeah, sure, just... Is that bl blood? Oh, the red markings? No, it's paint, I think. You think? B blood isn't really my thing. It's definitely not blood. I s smell it. Smell? No, 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 need. I believe you. Right, it's not blood. Hand that here. Okay, a little bit got to me. Or a little bit got on me. But it's fine, no problem. It's just paint, not blood. Nope, not blood. Deep breaths, Migura. Right. Sorry about the temporary loss of composure. Allow me to effortlessly find the owner of this pass. Damn thing, I'll just swipe it again here. Aha, let's see. As fortune would have it, I know the owner of this card. It belongs to Mai, the youngest daughter of the Kawana family. Very interesting family indeed. Oh, and what makes them so interesting? Well, they got, they own a lot of land in the area and have uh, donated a considerable amount to the local shrine as well. I often see my working there. The house next to the station with the laundry hung up outside actually belongs to her grandmother. Except for my. They're all pretty, they're all pr a pretty cloistered lot. She's usually a very careful girl. I can't see her dropping her pass without coming to see me about it. I know all about those passes after all. I'm the expert on train passes. Mai's a good kid. Uh, you don't think she's gotten involved with nefarious types, do you? Not that I'm aware of. I'm sure it's nothing. But I wouldn't mind talking to her regardless. Well, if she's here, she's probably at her grandmother's. Anything else you got like to know? That's all for now, thanks. I wonder if there's a different way I could have gotten that pass. Expert on train passes. Uh... <laughs> Yeah, he's such an expert. This guy's interesting. Yeah. Uh, it's physically and musically freaking gorgeous. I have actually never seen a live playthrough, only LP. Yeah. I've only seen Let's Plays of it. So I don't know. 
And I think it's PS4 exclusive. Oh, look in. A dark room covered in dust. Hard to believe someone actually lives there. All right. Um, knock. There doesn't seem to be anyone home. Rude. Hmm. Oops. Okay. I guess I'm running. What was that? It sounded like it came from behind me. I'm perfectly behind that pillar. Great! That doesn't look suspicious at all! Oh, I know who cries. I watched them. Maybe I just didn't watch them finish it because I was not sure if I wanted to play it. But I just didn't have a PS4 at the time it came out. I don't know. I don't really remember. It was a while ago. But. Enter. This doesn't look suspicious. My sanity is so going down. All right, I can't do anything. Excuse the intrusion. I'm with the police. Is anyone here? That's creepily covered. Uh, yeah. Enter. How long has it been? Oh, there she is. Who are you? What? How'd you get into my house? Sorry, I didn't mean to startle you. My name is Ito, and I'm with the police. The door was unlocked. You think because you're in the police, you can just walk through my house with impunity? I thought I'd lock the door. What did you say your name was? Not that it matters. Whoever you are, you shouldn't be here. You saw yourself in, you can see yourself out. The door, I know I locked it. Were you followed? Followed? N no, I'm just looking for your granddaughter, Mai. And I wanted to ask you about the red markings outside. Mai, what do you want with her? She's a good girl. You leave her alone. The last thing I need is some police sniffing around my house. When I came here, I wanted to be alone. So that my family and I could live in peace. All you're doing is drawing unwanted attention. Besides, I don't care about those superstitious markings. So you know what those markings are? There was once some who made... There were once some who made markings, marks in red so that they could wouldn't get lost. A guide to those who'd passed into the spiritual plane. More likely, it's a vandal. Shh, can you hear that? Why, after all this time? Imiko. Imiko, is that you? No, she is gone. Why does it call to you so? Perhaps you can be the one to set me free from this torment. Perhaps these old bones have suffered long enough. If it wants to leave, then... If it wants to leave, then... Then I'll give it to you. Whoa, slow down. Give me what? What are you talking about? You'll help me, won't you? Take it from me. It wants to go with you. The mask. Yep. Sanity negative one. Great. Negative five. Great. Wait. Oh. I didn't mean to stare at it. I didn't know I could click it away. I'm sorry, child. Sorry? What is this? I feel strange. Years we spent trying to answer that very question. Fruitless years, I don't know. I have to get out of here, I'm sorry. Yes, take it away from this place. Rude. As soon as I touched it, it was as if the lens through which I viewed the world was jarred out of focus. My vision swirled and shifted. My legs became limp and a vile smell salted my nostrils. I pushed my way back into the entrance. I needed to get out of that house the fuck? Yeah, sanity checks in D&D, yeah. That's what's happening. Oh. Do I need to exit? There's nothing else I can do, I guess. Hi, her llamas. Hello, hello. Not creepy at all. Nope. Alright. So I have a mask, which is now oh god, negative 23. That's not good. That's not good, guys. She ran towards the door. Yeah, she did. Well, that's not a good sign. Uh, uh, is Miss Manga Chick leaving? Bye, have a wonderful night.
Thank you so much for stopping by. Hey. Alright, uh... So I have a mask now. The wave of sickness that overcame me began to fade as I emerged from the old, musty Kiwana house. I need to watch some kitty videos for sanity? Yeah, seriously. Immediately, my mind began to write off what I'd experienced as a fluke. Feelings brought on by a lack of sleep and strange cases. And a strange case. After a few lungfuls of the spring air, my head subsided and the nausea lessened. With every step, I took out the door. The strong emotion I felt holding the mask got further away as well. Maybe it was the old Kwana woman who made my mind go to such a strange place. What other explanation could there be? But as I walked away from the house, I stopped and broke into a cold sweat. My skin erupted in goosebumps. Something wasn't right. The mask was still firmly in my grasp. The knuckles, my knuckles had grown white from gripping it so tightly. Why? Why had I held on to it? Before I could think of an answer, a scream from the direction of the shrine broke through my muddled thoughts. Maybe I should go to the shrine? Oh, she, okay, there we go. Sometimes she runs, sometimes she doesn't. And it's not my double clicking, so I'm not exactly sure. Go to shrine. Well, that's my. This bitch. That day at the shrine, I saw Rina for the first time, the girl who Kazuki had been chasing and who would be his killer six months later. Her eyes kept darting around, making her mental state impossible to read. Until that day, I'd never seen her, but she felt familiar. As I moved toward her, I began to feel uneasy. At knife point was my Kiwana, who must have been dragged there shortly after I arrived. Even in the warm spring air, I remember a shiver going down my spine. Uh, am I walking forward? This seems like a bad idea. Tanaka, what exactly is going on here? Everything's under control, Ito. Stay behind me. Who is she? Tell her to go away. If she doesn't, I'll do it. I swear. Please don't hurt me. I don't know anything. Please. Rina, this is my partner, Detective Ito. I told you she'd be coming, remember? See, she's staying right there behind me. Just like I said she would. No one's trying to trick you. What took you so long, Ito? Anyway, tread lightly and follow my lead. Alright. Uh, Introduce yourself. Hey, your name's Rina, right? Yeah. Hi, Rina. My name is Ayami. I'm a friend. Please help me. You're, you're not my friend. You don't know anything about me. I, I don't trust her. Keep her back. We won't, we won't take one more step. Promise. You know, my partner's a lot smarter than me. Maybe you should tell her what you told me. About the voices and what you'd call it. Right. The dark. No, I don't want to talk about them. You said you could make them stop. Can you really? Like I said, I've met other people like you. They were very sick, but that when they came with me, I got them help and they got better. I I'm sick. It's not real. That's right. Though I know it doesn't seem that way. It's not your fault. It's not? No, of course not. If I was in your position, I'd be scared too. It's not real? It's not real? It's not real? That's right. No, you're wrong! You, can, you can't see it at all. Or, you can't see it at all. What's down there? Eating everything up. Eating me up. I don't see anything, Rena. It's a beautiful spring day, nothing more. There's nothing out to get you here. It's below us. All the time. It whispers. Shows me things. Things it wants me to do. I can't eat. I can't sleep. There's nothing below us. I know it's confusing, but you've got been sick a long time and it won't get better unless you let us help you. No, you're lying. You want me- you want to hurt me just like everyone else. I'll- I'll do it alone. I've always been alone. I need the mask. That's the only way to fix this, so stay away! Rena, there's no mask here. <laughs> Isn't that right, Mai? Yes, of course. I don't know anything about a special mask at the shrine. And Rena, Mai wouldn't lie about that, would she? There's no reason to hurt her if she doesn't know anything, right? Quiet, both of you! You're working together! Uh, 
That's that's it, right? I know it's here. Where's the mask? Where's the mask? Please stop. I don't know anything about it. I don't. I swear. Please let me go. Hey, hey. We talked about this earlier, right? Violence only makes everyone nervous. And people do silly things when they're nervous. I don't know about you two, but it's very hard. It's hard to focus clearly on an empty stomach. And I'm starving. Are you too hungry? Know what my favorite food is? Pizza. Hey, my. What's your favorite type of pizza? Pizza? You want to know about... Um, I don't know. I like margarita. Well, a little boring, but a classic. Rude. I like margarita pizzas. How about you, Reno? What's your favorite pizza? I can get one brought in for all of us. Much more pleasant way to talk than at opposite ends of a shrine, if you ask me. Pizza? Well, what about the... I promise we'll talk about all the stuff later. But first, pizza. I like pizza, too. Before... Not now. Before before what, Rena? Maybe you can tell me about it. No, no, no. I don't want to talk about that. Besides, I can't eat. It makes me sick ever since that day. She's a zombie. No, no, no. Stop thinking about it, Mom. Everyone. I know it all seems impossible. but that, And that you have so many things to overcome before you get better. A sickness of the mind can affect the body, too. And I bet once the doctors have a look at that, they can help you with that, too. Hey, Ito, would you you join us, right? What's your favorite pizza? Uh, my favorite pizza? Uh, margarita, of course. You too? Seems to be all the rage. See? No one's out of out to get you. Uh, well, we know we shoot her! We'd all rather get- We'd all rather this go peacefully. Stop! I don't want to hear any more of that! Don't you get it? I won't stop until I get it! What do you mean? Put that knife down, Rena. Then we can help you find whatever it is you're looking for. No! I know what you're doing! This bitch knows! You're hiding it from me! And I know that this is the right one! I can feel it here! And if she doesn't give it to me, I'm going to make a little my bleed! Rena, listen to me. I'm pretty sure if Mai knew anything about the mask, she'd tell you. My? My? No, her! The one next to you! You said she was my friend! Why would you lie? I can hear them. I can see them all around her. Shadows. Voices. <laughs> Pineapple. Hmm. Pineapple. Are you trying to say something to Mona's? Who doesn't like pizza? Horror doesn't even know. You don't even know. <laughs> I don't. I, I had a moment where I didn't know how to spell pineapple. It's fine. Negative five negotiation. Yeah. Apple pen. Oh my god. Pin, I, pin pineapple apple pen. I don't remember how that song goes. It's fantastic though. Anyway. You mean Ito? She doesn't know anything about this, Rena. Maybe I do. You're a little scared of her and that fear is playing into your sickness. You have to trust that what you see isn't there. No! Stop lying! You don't get it. She's, it's real. She's seen it. But why? Why is it awake? Why, 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 why? Huh? What is that? Can you hear it? It sounds like it's down that goes down there. Does down there? No, 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 no. Get it back! You he can't you hear it? Oh god, make it stop. You said you can help me make it stop. Please make it stop. Please. Uh tell Rena about the mask. Uh tell her about the mask. Fuck it. Negative five professionalism. I'm so good at being professional now. Yay. Tanaka, I don't think she's lying. I think I've seen it. Ito, what the hell are you talking about? The mask. In the house back there, Mai's grandmother showed me a mask. I knew it! You lied to me! You lied! Give it back! Give it to me! Ito, why didn't you say anything before? I'm sorry, Tanaka. How was I supposed to know it had anything to do with this? D does it mean I'm not sick? That you won't help me? No, no! No, you lied to me! Oh my god. You said it wasn't real, but she's seen it! I can hear it! It's awake! It's awake! Stay back! I came here for that mask. It'll hurt her. I said I would if you lied. No one lied. This mask Ito has. There must be dozens that like just like it. No one else can hear anything. So let's all calm down and start over. Uh, Kazuki, I don't feel well. Ayami, what's wrong? Why can't you hear it? It's screaming! Make it stop! Make it stop! Kazuki, I... I'm sorry. Before that day, the possibility of ever using my gun on another human being never occurred to me. 
In my mind, doing so was a failure as a detective, a sign that you hadn't thought the situation through, that all the other options had failed. And the Ayami I knew had never pointed her gun at a girl. But suddenly, as I stood under the cherry blossoms, that Ayami was replaced by someone else. I was a passenger in my own body, looking on in a horror as a girl, identical to me, began to squeeze the trigger. My thoughts were lost in the din of a thousand terrified voices. I wish I could say I lost consciousness, or didn't remember what I did, but that wasn't true. I remember every moment, every second, and every face that looked at me in horror at what I did. Negative 10 sanity. Oh my god, I do not have a choice. What happens if I let time run out? Doesn't matter. Oh my god, the time is going crazy! <laughs> I just noticed that. Well, mm, I have no choice. Oh my god. Okay, fine. Ida, what are you doing? Ida, put your weapon down. Don't do this. Kazuki's shouts never reached my ears. The world that I'd seen in moments before no longer existed. There was darkness. It, in it was me, only me, the girl, and a voice which told me to do one thing. So I did. Well, I guess time can't run out. Yeah. <laughs> well, this is my life now. We knew that was going to happen, though. That's in the story. I wonder if I could have saved him in the beginning, though. Oh, am I supposed to click? Yep. As my finger pulled on the trigger, Rena looked at me and smiled. I wonder why she smiled then, knowing at that moment what was about to happen to her. It was as if she knew exactly what was happening to me. She looked me right in the eye as the bullet ripped through her skull. The smile never left her face, even then. Even after she died. Oh, okay. Hey. Hey, Ayami, can you hear me? Nurse, nurse, she's awake. Listen to me, Ayami. You're going to be fine. You collapsed after... After the gunshot. Huh? Gun? What are you talking about? Oh, no, that girl. What did I do? Hey, don't move. You need to rest. What did I do? Ayami, calm down. Nurse! Detective Tanaki... Tanaka, God damn it! If you could just hold her still for a moment. Everything's going to be fine. The nurse is going to give you something to help you sleep. Well, I'm crazy! Tanaka, where am I? I don't remember coming here. It's alright, Ayami. We're in a hospital. I'm here for you. Now I know you always like getting ahead of me, but please listen to me until the end, okay? A few days ago, there was a hostage situation in Kamakura. It ended badly. You, you shot that girl. Then, well, um, the doctors are saying you had some kind of mental breakdown. Ah, oh, you're awake. Good. And how are you feeling today, Miss Ito? You seem much calmer now. Yeah, I guess I was a bit confused after blacking out. Oh yes, according to the studies we've read, that's quite common for people who have experienced that kind of trauma you did. Tell me, do you feel the following symptoms? Please answer with yes or no only. Shortness of breath? No. Professionalism one. No, I'm breathing fine. Nausea? No. No, I feel fine. Blurred vision? I'm assuming I feel fine. No, I can see fine. Fatigue? No, I need to get back to work. We've given you a mild antipsychotic in light of your recent episode. It is our duty to make sure you are mentally and physically fit for duty, you understand? Yes. Yes. Good, let me explain your medicine to you. We have conducted a series of tests since the incident in Kamakura. We found no evidence of history of neurological damage, schizophrenia, or bipolar disorder. 
I'm writing up the episode as a stress-induced breakdown. For your safety and the safety of others, however, we strongly recommend you take these bills daily for a period of several months. Take a look at your chart, Masito, to help keep track of the well-being of workers in the public sector, we developed the SPIN system to monitor various aspects of your well-being. You mean this? Where I'm insane? Shaken, not stirred. No. Uh, so it says I'm shaken insanity. I'm professional, mostly. I'm focused a, and stressed. Great. SPIN stands for Sanity Professional investigation and neurosis. We'll be monitoring your spin attributes closely in subsequent checkups, and I suggest you do the same. In light of recent events, let's first consider your sanity, your ability to accurately perceive the world around you. Without taking your medication, daily medication, and given your condition, incidents you, like, like you recently experienced are more likely to occur again. For now, I strongly suggest you take your medicine. Since your first dose is due today, please take it now. Here. No, swallow it. Sanity plus 10, investigation negative zero. Or negative 10. Wow, I can read. Unfortunately, as you may have noticed, there are some side effects. Great, my investigation went down, although I'm still badass. Though taking antipsychotic medicine will increase, decrease your chance of any future psychotic episode, they may make you a bit jazzy and unfocused. As a detective, this may, of course, lo may lower your investigation abilities. Investiga investigative and your aptitude for seeing the details on a case. Although your partner mentioned you may have experienced hallucinations at the time of your breakdown, so your taking your medication is imperative to keeping your mind clear of these visions. I should warn you, however, if, you, if for whatever reason you are unable to take your medication and your sanity, as measured by spin, gets very low, you may suffer from a total psychotic breakdown. And as I'm sure I needn't tell you, for someone in your position, that would cause both the department and your family considerable amount of embarrassment. <laughs> That's what I'm worried about, not killing someone! Cat is shook. <laughs> so please remember to take your medicine, Miss Ito. In order to avoid missed doses and form a routine, we recommend you keep your pills in a familiar place like your apartment so you can take them every time you come home. You should also be careful with neurotic actions endlessly talking to people, pacing back and forth, and traveling around meaninglessly and the like. Studies show that neurosis can as, act as a multiplier that exponentially speeds up a patient's loss of sanity, which, given your current condition, could be dangerous. We found that patients become less neurotic by taking time out of their to take care of themselves. Detective Tanaka tells me you have a pet? Perhaps spending time with the animal, relaxing and getting a good night's sleep could help the levels of neurosis we see in your chart. These stress relieving actions have no negative effects on in relation to your medication or condition. I'll leave it to your superiors to discuss professionalism with you, but it has a measurable effect on the spin chart. Do you understand the importance of spin or do you want me to explain it to you again? Uh, I understand. That makes sense. Also, apparently River's car just got ready, so that's awkward. Hold on, let me make sure what River just said. Because <laughs> I didn't get to read it all, it was just a snippet. Oh, okay, so River said just to let him know when I'm ready. So, after the next game. <sighs> Kazuki, thank God you came. I need to get out of here. They've got me going, taking enough sedatives to knock me out a damn elephant. Did they tell you when they'd let me out? I missed you. Besides, I'm going nuts laying around here all day. <laughs> Funny you should say that, Ayami. As I think the going crazy thing is what they're worried about, too. That's not funny. Sorry, sorry. But in life, you can either laugh or you can cry. And if you ask me, it's better to laugh. It shouldn't be much longer now. The doctor says he wants to observe you a little longer is all. How are you feeling? Better, but I, I don't remember what happened very well. The whole thing is kind of hazy. I remember that I was feeling strange, like there was someone there else there with me, and that mask, it... I'll stop you there, Ayami. I've heard enough about that thing. It was all over the report, and Yukimura gave me a hell of a lecture about even leaving mention of it in there. Where is it now? That's not important. You made a mistake. No, that's not fair. Given the situation, I don't blame you. Even on the report, you can barely even call it a mistake. 
A highly unstable suspect had a knife to a girl's throat and you took the shot. No matter what other people say, I'm standing by you both now and at the hearing. Aw, I don't know what you saw, but I know you had a reason for what you did. People at HQ are already starting to take your side, but please, no more talk about that mask. It'll only hurt your case and keep you in the hospital a little longer. Trust me, nobody wants that, least of all me. Not to mention Yukimura's had a hell of a time stopping the brass from suspending you. So help him out a bit, will you? Whatever you think you saw that day, it wasn't supernatural. Besides, thinking about it isn't going to help you get better. So no more about it, okay? I get it! Hi, Willow! Hello, hello. You're right. You're right. It was a confusing situation, and I guess my mind is grasping at straws trying to come to terms with it. You know, Kazuki, I need... I think I need a break from all this. Being a cop, and I didn't sign up to hurt... To kill people. I know. We'll talk about it later. For now, you should get some rest. There's nothing to worry about. Everything's going to be okay. I promise. You lied! This is fine. Totally fine. <sighs> oh, I'm back down here. Also, there's like these red things floating around. I'll probably end it once it stops doing whatever it's doing right now. But this is a neat game! Oh, well. Of course he's wearing the mask. Great. I can't do anything. Uh. A, so I'm assuming I would like take medicine, talk to the cat, try and make things better. Holy crap! Is my s yeah, I'm still there. I'd take more, because my investigation's still pretty high, so. Hey, so that is Recreator 5's Game Wisp Pick. I did kind of just start on this game. Uh, I've started it at an hour and a uh, half ago. Probably about an hour and a half ago is when I started it. So, yeah. I figured I'd uh, talk to the medicine, take the cat. Yeah, no. <laughs> Reverse that, but yes. <laughs> I bet I said that. I wouldn't be surprised. But, yes, thank you, Recreator 5, for the game was picked. This is really cool. This is really freaking cool, I have to say. I really enjoyed it. But, yes, we do have to switch over to Tunnels of Despair. I have to run to the bathroom, though. But, which will take two seconds. But, yes, about 100 minutes ago. A. But, yes, it was very, very cool. Thank you so much. And thank you for gifting it to me. Thank you so much. You didn't have to. That's not, by the way, for everyone that is interested in Game Wisp Picks. That's not a requirement, but thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. Yes, so let's all take a quick bathroom break, but we will switch over to uh, the Tunnels of Despair, which is another horror, but that's more of first-person horror, unlike this, which was very unique. I really like the way- I like this. I like the way they're doing this. I'm a little afraid of some psychotic episodes, but um, I like that it impacts the way the game is played. And then obviously if you encounter a psychotic episode sooner or whatnot, I don't know how accurate this is to real schizophrenia or anything of the like, because obviously it's supernaturally impacted due to the mask and all that and the girl who cannot die apparently. So, but I really like it. Aw, take care, well friends. Thank you for stopping by. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Have a wonderful day. But yes, so I will be right back. We're just gonna run, I'm gonna run to the bathroom. Also, there's kitties. Enjoy the kitty plushies. That is the cat cam. If you do exclamation point cat cam, you can see what you can do with them to interact with them. But yes, I will be right back, right back. Yeah, squid butt, super timed. So, BRB guys. Eh.
monster is coming. That's true. It's getting chilly in here. <sighs> Just in time for chair time. Hi, chair. Yes. Hellblade is pretty accurate from what I've heard. Um, It's sensitive about it. I don't know how accurate. Like, it might be accurate back in the day. You know what? Microsoft Store. This is why. So, I'm going to turn that off because that's actually display capture, but main menu. Let's do it. So, I got some yogurt. And then, we're going to switch over to Tunnels of Despair, but I got to change it. Thank you so much for the biddies. Thank you. And Grumpy Baron. Thank you so much, guys. Throw a love in chat. We're going to make Baron Grumpy. Grump, grump, grump. Oh, thank you for the biddies so much. Hey, John. Thank you for the nine months of a sub, too. Throw all more. In all the love. All, every single love. Thank you so much. We have a Twitch baby. John, what's its name? I'll write it down. It'll be in the Discord. We got Grump Bear. Grump, grump, grump. A grumpy bear. Thank you so much, Twitch Babu. Hey, I got to write it down. 